Yes, hi everyone. Yeah, Flopper Dummy, and I've got a. Well, if you read that there, then you know what the LPs are, which is kind of cute with it. I'm doing an LP. It's going on a game. Some of you probably have heard it, some of you might want to watch it just to see what the game's like and see if you enjoy it. It's on. It's been. It's released on the SNES, and I believe the Sega Mega Drive. I know the first one's on the Sega Mega Drive, but I'm not percent sure about this one. And yeah. This is one of my all-time favorite games. It's a really hard strategy, strategy-based game, but you have to you have some of the puzzles and do all sorts. And yeah, I'm gonna turn the music off in a minute. And when I realize, oh my god, I've got a control set off. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. Right, we've got to sort it out. Right, we've got to sort it out now. And I'm gonna start a new game. The narrow escape from the evil Thomas Eric the Swift, Olaf the Stout, and Belly of the Fierce lived joyous and fruitful in and fruitful Viking lives. Then one day, while returning home from a fishing trip, with it, I'm hungry. You should have thought of that before we left. Yeah, you've eaten three times today, and the sun's even come up. No wonder I'm hungry. <laughs> so, I finally caught up with the mighty Vikings again. Well, I'll show them. Blue. Uh, guys? Let me guess, you got a bad feeling about this. <clears throat> Welcome back, pathetic losers. This time, you will experience the full wrath of the mighty Tomato. This time, there will be no escape. Guard, take them to the time machine modulation uh, thing and transport them to me. Yes, Tomato, but first I must modulate in the phase variances in the Tachyon fields. Prisoners, you will follow me. At last, the mighty Vikings in my clutches. <laughs> oh no! Not another system failure! Dun dun dun! What's happening? What's happening? Oh my god, everything's going back. Prisoners? Get in! And you see eyeballs room like da 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 Hey guys, we grabbed some cool stuff from that robot. I wonder what it does. No time to find out now. We need to get out of here. Oh look, a big shiny thing, and there's a sign that says, D uh, do donuts. Olaf? No? Uh oh, Billy, I think Olaf's in some kind of food trance or mania. Mission sequence 1166 to Crash Bayer 1437 AD. Boop, boop, beep, boop. No, I've lost them again. Password S T R T. Now the safe system, and this is what it's on password. You get a password for each level, and each level has a password. If you type in the correct password, you go to that level. I can, I know, I only ever memorize one password, and it's bomb. B O M B. Bam. So if you want to skip ahead to there, if you ever decide to play this game, I'll just skip the speech because I can't bother to listen to them now. But anyway, if you just want to skip ahead, you just go into the password thing. I'll show you that in a minute. And type bam. And this says press A to talk to people or read hints like this one. 
Basically, you play as all three of these characters one at a time. They all have ability. This guy has a jump and a double jump, which is a rocket. And he can also do this. He can blow down walls with this ability and also take out enemies. But if he runs into an air wall or something like that, even if it breaks through like that, um, yeah, my phone's going off. Uh, this is Balio, Balio the Stout. That last guy was Eric Swift. No. He has a lightsaber, no. No. which is weird because he holds a silver sword in his hand. No. But he has a lightsaber. And he has this extender arm, and that's it. But this extender arm can go in all directions, except down and down diagonal. And um, it can be useful. He can grab onto like things and swing across them, which is experiencing probably the next level, I think. And kill people with it and he can also kill people with his lightsaber and he can he's actually a really f hard character to use in some occasions. This is uh, Olaf no yeah this is Olaf the Star. That last guy was barely out for fierce. This is Olaf the Star. He can shrink to get into tight spaces and stuff and like yeah. He can also he can put a shield over his head and that'll protect you from hits coming from the top and to the side of him. And he also does this. Yeah, he farts. He's a fighter. And I will show you the effects of farting in midair and hopefully in the next level. Because I don't know if I'll have time to go past a few levels. Can you take us to the big shiny metal thing with Bruce here? Well I know a spell that could send you there. The spell has limited range, so if it doesn't take you all the way there, I'll meet you at the nearest cauldron and we can try again. But I'll need a Cyclops eyeball, a vampire bedwin, and um and I won't even gonna try and pronounce that. Mushroom. To cast a spell again. Okay, sounds good. Let's go. Riverside. Boop. Level two. Stu. Ah, while well, we're here, I'm gonna show you the effects of. If he has a shield over his head, he floats. If he doesn't. If he doesn't have the shield over his head, he falls. Put the shield over his head, and when he's floating, if you fart, you get a little boost. And. Yeah. It's gonna quickly kill off this guy. That did that do. That's a vampire bat wing. That's a fireball there. So here, as you can see, uh, underneath the character's face, the top top of the screen, there is a three red circles, and they are hit points. Now, with um, Bailey of the Stout, you can actually run into things like this and not get affected by it. And that's the way you're meant to get around this. You put the shield on top of your head and do that, and then your character's gonna run through it really quick. And this is just a quick show of your character's abilities. I mean, obviously, you can run through there, and then you can that that hint just tells you that you can jump to do stuff like that. And then you have to get all the items, and oh, you have to get three items for each of these little transport things. And everyone has to go. If you die, if one character dies, you have to start the whole mission again. There's no checkpoints. And yeah, so I think I'm gonna leave it there. For now, this is going to be part one, the password keys, so if you want to start where I am now, type in keys, and yeah, so if you liked what, if you liked the gist of this game and want to see me play more, please enjoy, because I will be making more episodes, don't worry about that, and yeah, peace out.